Welcome back to your favorite kitchen where we're making it make sense. We're making sure that the family walks away full, nutritioned, um, but also making sure that the budget is friendly. Now, did you know that bread pudding is also known as poor man's pudding? Instead of letting old bread go to waste, the cooks of the day made pudding. And today, we're going to be um, richly spoiled as we are making a bread pudding with apricot jam, meringue, and a generous dollop of clover classic custard. Now, do me as the lady um, that always leads us <laughs> in the kitchen, <laughs> making these sweet treats, just give us um, a little bit of a rundown as to what we need. Okay, Palissa, so for this, because it, it actually reminds me of a, an apricot sandwich, you know, back in the yeah. day you'd have sandwich with, so instead of that, we, we're taking it up a notch and making bread pudding, and for this, I'm going to be making the meringue that goes on top of our bread pudding, and Chef, you'll be doing the, the custard for us that mm -hmm. we're going to be soaking our bread in, so you can start off by actually putting your butter into the, into the pot for us. Right. So that it melts up, and then Pali, you can also just start cutting the bread for us because you know uh, any bread pudding is is perfect with a nicely cut slice of bread. Question: <laughs> Growing up, um, my parents used to always say, Pali, I don't take the crust off the bread. That is the most nutritious part of bread. You're letting it all go down the drain. Now, look, I'm not in the business of wasting anything, <laughs> but is it necessary to cut out um, the crust? Can we leave the crust on? You can leave the crust on, Pali. So you know, I think your parents were doing what all parents do to their kids, just getting you to eat all of it and not waste any of it, because none of that is true. <laughs> Hi, parents. Okay, so I'm just going to be cutting up then uh, the bread quite roughly into uh, square pieces that are going to help add all the layers to this bread pudding. Correct. Now, Chef, what are you doing? Now, I'm separating egg yolks and I'm just going to give um, to me some egg whites for her meringue. Which is another way we're saving, Palisa, because we're using this recipe and all the ingredients here are getting used. So instead yeah. of chucking the egg whites, we're going to use them and make a meringue that's going to go on top of our beautiful uh, bread pudding. You know, just putting a, a nice touch to the bread pudding. And another way, Chef, I see exactly what you're doing. You're using the actual eggshells to separate. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> if you don't have, have a, what do you call that thing for separating eggs? Anias. <laughs> So this is the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, there we go. Thank and then, Chef, this. we were talking about by using fresher ingredients all the time whenever we, we, we're cooking and stuff like that. But Palissa mentioned something very important. Yeah. Uh, trust the, our uh, chef there to know. She's yeah. saying older eggs actually work better. And that's oh. because mm -hmm. it yeah. was a fluffier um, egg white and so forth. So it works better in this case to use older bread yeah. and to use older eggs for this type of I bread. love that point, Dumi, that you're discussing. Because, yes, we do celebrate fresh ingredients here in the kitchen. And I think everyone was listening quite enviously when you were discussing the way you were up, uh, raised up in that small town in the rural areas. But for this recipe, a lot of people do have that bread that has been in the fridge oh, yeah. for a long Long amount of time we do have those eggs that have also been in the refrigerator for an extended amount of time and you might be wondering you know how then can I get the best out of these ingredients so this is a perfect recipe to be able to use those ingredients that have been in the fridge for a little bit longer and um, it makes sure number one your meringue comes out fluffier and taller we're using a little bit older egg whites similarly with the bread that stale bread Ooh, I love it Correct. No, all right chef. okay so what do I do now chef right so now <laughs> you can remove your um, your butter from the mixture there, all right? Okay. The heat, and you can add all the other ingredients that go into that. That in, in here, into that pot. Okay. So all we right. can go in with our um, apricot jam. We can go in with our spices and our milk. And I'm just going to keep whisking away. If you do have an electric beater, this would definitely work. But some of us like to keep it OG. But I think <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade in my whisk for an electric beater now because hey, brilliant. Really? Oh, and like you know, as we are talking this. about convenience, sometimes convenience in the kitchen is something that I'm after especially after our long days at work. So using something as delicious and versatile as the Clover Classic Custard, for me, takes this dish to that mm. very next level. It's itself on its own delicious. It's versatile within any kind of recipe that we're using. And it's also the first of its kind, a self-sourcing dessert. I'm here for it. Definitely, Palissa. And it's also a source of 10 nutrients, Palissa. 10, 10 vitamins and so forth. It's delicious. You can enjoy it, like you said, on its own. You can use it on top of our dessert. It's completely up to you. But chef, do you want All to right, chef, us? now. So uh, do I put the egg yolks in Correct. one by one? and I don't make scrambled eggs. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not everything in, just one by one. You can actually put it all in there because the, the mixture will be cooled down now right, after you've okay. added the milk, so you can just okay. whisk it in. Let me just 
to be well, on the safe side. <laughs> just do one by one. <laughs> All right, and I've just made my meringue, but I did the rookie mistake of adding my sugar all in at once, oh. which is something you do not want to do when you're making a meringue. The whole idea is to add to your egg whites, add the sugar a little at the time until it's all, um, until it's all in essence, dissolved. And then now that meringue that we would have made, I'm now gonna put this on top of our bread pudding that we've just made. This one would have gone into the oven to bake for about, a, at 180 degrees. We also mm. bake this just until it's nice and solid in the center, that's about 40 minutes. And Balasa, to make it look a bit fancy, I'm just gonna torch it, but you can always just do this in the oven as well, just to ah. get those beautiful streaks. You see, some of us yeah. don't have those <laughs> yes. uh, tips and mm -hmm. tricks in our kitchen. So I'll definitely be putting this in the oven. Chef, as that custard is done, go ahead and pour it onto the bread. Now to get this recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Yummy. So we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.